It's question and answer time here on the Guru Brew 2 again. Let's get right into it. This one's from Andrew. It's titled Ethernet Controller for Windows XP Dell. The question is they're attempting to install the Windows XP Ethernet driver on a Dell Optiplex. It fails and it says R132254.exe is not a valid Windows 32 application. I have seen your YouTube videos. Yep. So Andrew's trying to install an Ethernet controller on his XP Dell, and he probably went to the Dell website. Let's go there real quick. And um, this is his support page for his Optiplex. And if you look down here um, underneath Networks, he's trying down. He's trying to download this file right here and then install it, and then he's coming up with that uh, not a valid file error message there's several reasons why you can get this not a valid Windows 32 application error the first one would be the path if you save to a path on your hard drive that contains spaces such as my documents with a space that may cause this error another problem may just be a corrupt file and that happens from time to time you know if you download something from the internet there's just a bad file up there and I have downloaded this file and I can tell you that's not your problem it worked just fine for me so let's get into a couple other reasons why another reason might be the download was incomplete and for some reason it didn't finish but it showed up on your on your file system then you clicked it and it wasn't it wasn't all there so it was incomplete Chances are it was either incomplete or you have a space in your location. So my advice to you is when you download the file, let's go ahead and do it and I'll show you. I'm going to save as rather than just letting it save wherever. I'm going to pick where I want it to save. And I'm going to put it on the desktop and you can see it's going to be called R132254. Let's save. And here it is here. And we can right click this and go to the properties. And we can see that it is an exe file. So the extension is not a problem. Also, you know, if I had renamed this like uh, .pdf and save it like that, that will also cause this not to work. But you can see it is an exe file and it is on my desktop. So if I click on it, let's just see, it's going to run. So I won't go any further. I don't want to install this. But if I had put this same file in my computer and perhaps recent places, because it, it contains two words with a space, it, might have, it may have been rejected, and I bet that's your problem. So redo the download and make sure that it's an exe file, and be sure that its location contains no spaces. Now, this problem has been worked out for Windows Vista and 7, but XP, it still has that problem. See all these uh, subdirectories that have these spaces? This is not an ideal place to locate this file when you're extracting it. So try that. I'm sure it'll work. Thank you for the question. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link, and leave a question, and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.